Welcome back to Unreal Guides. This is the continuing tutorial on how to self-publish to end Amazon's Kindle Direct Publishing program. Where we left off last time was we added our categories and I had chose historical, psychological. If you decide you don't like these, you can always change them by clicking. You have to check here one of the ones you want to remove and then you add what you want over here. You can also add at any time you can follow the instructions that they provide on here. They're really good. They have blue underlines for more information. Now we're up to keywords. Now keywords you can have up to seven and it describes here what it is. See, Keywords are search terms that cause your book to appear in search results. You may have to do a little work on this. If you have a historical fiction book that has some humors, humor, humor in it, you don't want to put historical fiction or you do, but you want to be more precise like what your book or what your target audience is going to be. As you type your keywords, like if you have humor, you, you separate them by commas. Now when they say keywords, you can actually have a key phrase. So if I have historical fiction and then comma, that is actually a key phrase, but it still categorizes as a keyword. You can have up to seven and it'll keep track right here on the right. The next thing you want to do in section four is upload your book cover. Now, the book cover, they give you the specifications here on the guidelines and you can see a placeholder. If you do not upload a cover and you've seen these, you will get a book that looks like this. They'll generate one for you because a book cover is better than no book cover. So, what you do is you will browse for an image, but first you want to decide if you're uploading just a Word file and you don't have the book cover in it, because they won't upload images from a Word file, then you want to check this box. And the reason is, is then Amazon now will insert your book cover into your book. So that's very nice. If you've made the book and it has the images and you're actually going to be creating the zip file or the EPUB file to upload yourself, then and your cover is included in the book, you don't want this checked. You just uncheck it. So you have to make the decision there. Now you're going to browse for your image. Now the image should be, and here's the specifications here, a TIFF or a JPEG. I usually use a JPEG. It has to be at least 500 pixels by 800 pixels. That's 500 wide, 800 tall. And an ideal ratio of 1 to 6. Now, I usually make my book cover 72 dpi because these are what are going to be showing on the internet in the Kindle store. So you don't need to go any larger than that. I also make them 600 by 800. That's my, my standard. Here you would click browse and then you would look for the book. Now in my case I have a ton of images so I'm just going to upload a book here and when you find what it is and I always recommend it's not labeled here, but lowercase cover.jpg. That way it's always easy to find. It should also be included where your manuscript is. So you click upload image and it might take a few minutes to do this. Once it's done, you can see the image here small. You can just close this little window by this X and then you'll see it here again. Now is the time for uploading the book. But first you have to decide on digital rights management. Now it'll tell you here if you click, it'll say digital rights management is intended to inhibit unauthorized distribution of the Kindle file of your book. Now you can either enable digital rights or not enable, enable it. It's really a choice up to you. Um, some authors encourage readers to share their work, others do not want DRM applied. It really just matters what you want. There's information there and if you scroll up it also has it here. Should I enable digital rights management and has learned more? So I would really look that around. I commonly do not enable it. I figure if I lock it with DRM, there are a lot of hacks, you know, breaking programs on the internet. So if somebody really wants to break in, they will. I just figure I let God handle it and that's, that's fine. So once you enable this, you can actually save um, your draft as you go. So in the next part, we'll just continue on with the publication in KDP.